This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony and this week I'm going to be reviewing two products. We are reviewing Burn Notice by Takel and we are also reviewing Zodiac Prediction by Liam Monte. Let's get this ball rolling. Okay, so first product we're going to review this week is Burn Notice by Takel. Let's cut to a trailer of this product now. We've all seen the mystery box plot before, but the problem is it never looks organic. Burn Notice changes all of that. In this simple matchbox, you'll be able to produce any signed card. No forces, no dupes, and it resets in seconds. <laughs> It's incredibly easy to learn and you'll be performing this within minutes. But the best part of all of this is that your hands are left completely clean. It packs small, plays big. It's one of the most organic and most believable mystery boxes I have ever seen. Okay, I'm back, and that is Burn Notice by Takel. And that retails at £20.99. So let's get this review on the road. £20.99 for this product. When I saw the price, I just, I almost thought, oh, come on, guys, this is totally wrong. It's too expensive. Um, for what it is. It should not be that price. It should be a 16 99 trick, £15 trick. I'm sorry, but you've overpriced this product. Uh, in the UK, we do have to sell things a little bit more expensive than America with the imports. I understand that. But this is not going to completely revolutionise the mystery box. It is, however, a nice idea. It's a nice idea that I've not seen used in a matchbox like this and it does the job. The packaging is actually nicer than the Matchbox itself. Uh, it's pretty, pretty flash. It's got all this soft bits here and yeah, looks cool. So they've gone into a lot of work with the packaging. That kind of explains a lot really. Um, looking at this trick, when I first got it, I thought it is a clever idea. It's clever in the way that if it worked, perfectly every time in the way that I would like to as a worker, then it would be fantastic. It would be amazing. And it's an, another gripe. I hate the word organic. There's no such thing as organic magic. And matches are not organic. They create pollution. They create fumes. They're not organic matches. So there's nothing organic about it. Anyway, that's my rant over. I hate that word organic. However, the actual effect itself, I'm not going to do anything here. You get enough things inside to fix things up should anything go wrong and that is what happened when I was practicing after about five or six times doing it the way that it was taught uh, I had to do a bit of fixing and now I know how to make sure that doesn't happen again but out of the box that's what happened now as an actual thing I do like the idea that if you open up this box and there's a card inside there's nothing more simple than a matchbox so that aspect I like and it does look like an innocent, well, it is an innocent matchbox, that's all it is. You can just have their card inside, tip it out, almost, as easy as that, tip it out, and there it is, their signed card. I find that one movement isn't quite as smooth as I would like it. It's not bad, it does a job, but I wouldn't want to rely on it at every performance, going from one table to another, over and over again for a whole evening. Um, I'd probably have a two or three of these made up, just in case, just going off what I experienced. Uh, but I'm sure 
that he gets away with it. He's been doing it a lot longer than I have. However, just... I can't help but think, in my opinion, I prefer some of the other sort of Kennedy mystery box sort of takes out there. It's not a bad one, but I wouldn't say it would be my favourite either. It's kind of in the middle, middle ground. So that is probably the best expl explanation I can really give of this product. It's a method of taking their signed playing card, suddenly it appears inside a matchbox, which is nice. I also like, uh, there's one by Joel Dickinson, which we have on the shelf as well, fantastic one, where the, again, the card appears inside a matchbox, you can show it inside, and then you tip it out. That one works very well, in my opinion. We gave it a very good re 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 review, I can't even speak this morning, we gave it a review. So, that I like that, because, in my opinion, I could handle that better. With this, as soon as you have the mechanics that go into this trick, things can go wrong. And I don't want even the slightest chance of things going wrong. I want to be in control. If something does go wrong, it's my fault, not the thing that I built. Does that make sense? So, unless it's a product like the Clarity Box, which will never go wrong. You know, it just kind of works every time. Perfect. Out the box. You know you can, you can, know you can rely on that product 100%. Whereas this, I wouldn't feel comfortable relying 100% on it. So that is my only issue. However, it's not a terrible product by any means, and it's not the best either. It's in middle ground for me, and I think the price is what really lets this down. It's a £15 trick. It's something that you'd often expect to find at the back of the Apocalypse magazine, saying, oh, do this with a matchbox, make this, make this change, and you have something. Sorry, I'm just being very, very blunt here. However, there is and some nice thinkings behind it. It has come along quite nicely. However, £20.99 in the UK is ridiculous. So, for that price, you know, if you want a, a mystery box and a way of making a card appear inside a matchbox, then this will probably do your job quite nicely. But I think that there's other products on the market that I would recommend higher. Simple as that. So there we go, that is Burn Notice. I was trying to be middle ground with that. I think that is a rating of five out of 10. If that, 5 out of 10 is what I'll give it. I'm feeling quite good today, so 5 out of 10, even after that run, I feel good. So £20.99 for Burn Notice by Takel, and let's move on to product number two. Product number two, we have ba -ba -ba, Zodiac Prediction by Liam Montier, Big Blind Media. Let's take to a trailer of this product now. Hello, Trinell. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. I've got a little car trick for you. Now, I don't know, have you seen many car tricks before? A couple. A couple okay. of car tricks, that makes sense. Well, before uh, people did card tricks with cards, they were actually used for sort of fortune telling before, even before tarot cards were used for fortune telling. And this is because playing cards have a lot of similarities with the kind of, um, with the calendar, I guess you'd say, uh, in that there's four suits and there's four seasons, and there's 52 cards in a deck and 52 weeks in a year. And if you add up all the numbers on the uh, deck of cards, it adds up to 365, which is the days in a year. So it's all kind of tied together with the whole calendar and your star sign and that kind of thing. So that's what we're going to try and do a little trick with that. So uh, we'll start off by uh, just, well, I'll leave them here. And I've also got a little uh, handy card here with your star signs on there. So what I'd like you to do is to have a look for your star sign on the list. You know your star sign, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I want you to take that number of cards off the top of the deck. So I'm Gemini, so I would take five cards. And you can hide them in the card box if you like. Okay. Uh, but I'll turn away while you do that. And um, I'll try not to listen very hard as well, just so I can't hear how many cards you take. Uh, and then just tuck them into the card box or into a pocket, anything you like. And give me a shout when you're ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll. All right, perfect. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to give these a little cut. Now, obviously, we don't need an entire pack for this. But what we're going to basically do is now use your number uh, to find your lucky card. Have you ever had a lucky card before? No. No? So this is a new yes. experience. All right, awesome. So uh, we're going to need 12 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And what will happen is we're going to deal them out into a little chart. So this would be number one, this would be number two, this would be number three. We're going to do it like a uh, clock, basically. Uh, four, that would be five, that would be six, and seven here, that would be eight. This would be nine, 
10, 11, and 12. So what we're gonna do is count round to find out what your lucky card is. Now obviously we've not met before, but I would have, if I, and I'm not very good at all this kind of thing normally, but I would have said you struck me as a sort of Virgo. I would have said you were a Virgo, is that right? Yes. It is, okay, <laughs> so if you're a Virgo, uh, your lucky number is eight, so we would count around uh, as if this was a clock to the eighth card. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would take us here, right? Okay. So your lucky card from now for all time is, in this case, the seven of clubs. I had a feeling it would be the seven of clubs for now. I had a feeling I'd meet a Virgo today and I had a feeling that the lucky card would be the seven of clubs because this isn't just a little card, it's actually an envelope. Mm -hmm. And inside the envelope is a single card from a different deck. Could you take it out for me? and show everybody at home. It is your lucky card, the seven <laughs> of club. Well, that was uh, fate, but you say, you know, you've heard the saying that some things are written in the stars and that means that they're fated and they're always gonna come true. Mm -hmm. That was true of your lucky card because it was the only result you could have had. It was all written in the stars from before we began. Nice. Okay, I'm back. And okay, that was a bit too cheesy, wasn't it? Okay, I'm back. It's like Jackie Chan. Woo! Uh, yes, that is Zodiac Prediction, and it comes with half a deck of special cards. I'm not going to go into any more details on that. It comes with a few envelopes. It comes with a few special system involved with those envelopes, and it comes with uh, a, a prediction inside one of those envelopes, and it comes with. A fantastic routine, fantastic teachings, and a really, really nice little trick. It's a trick that's going to take up, of course, half of a deck. You're going to have to be using a deck of cards for this trick, so that's going to take a pocket space up in one of your jackets. But I think for the effect that you get out of it, it's well, well worth it. And it's one of those tricks, if you were doing in a parlour situation, you could easily add this to the end of the parlour situation or in the middle and it would be five minutes of really nice magic for everybody and it's mixing in what I really like is the star signs uh, we all know that spectators love star signs especially lady spectators they think it's fantastic and as soon as you can tell them what star sign they are and uh, then you can mention which card they chose that you predicted their card and at the very end you turn them all blank it's just a really nice three phase, if not four in many ways, but three three sort of kickers. And I love that. I love the little booklet that you get inside it, which is uh, very nicely produced and it looks really old. And I learnt it from that first and then I went and watched the video that you get as well. So I really like the whole package in general. And as I've seen on the internet and as he says on his video, it does take that whole boring clock scenario where you're you're doing that oldest trick in the book. It takes that to a level of something that I would like to now perform. It's so different, and yet it's similar, if that makes sense, but it's so different because of the three-phase routine and the way it's linked with the, with the zodiac signs, so the star signs. So I think it's a fantastic trick. The price of this is 50. Ooh, is it fifteen fifteen pounds ninety nine? Which is the sort of price that this one should be. Fifteen pounds ninety nine. It is brilliant. For the price, you're gonna get a lot of fun out of this. It's something that you can carry in just one little pocket, or you can have in one little pocket of your case, ready to entertain people for five minutes and really enthrall them. So I think that gives you really good value for money. It's a great, great trick, great thinkings, and it's been put together in a really nice way. So there we go. Yes, there's it's got there's a few stickers on the envelopes, and uh, it it just does what it says on the tin. It does exactly what it says on the tin, and it does it well. And when I say gimmicks, it's just yeah, nice booklet, nice instructions, nice online, two envelopes. You get the cards and you get everything required to do the trick. And I think that you would really enjoy doing it. Now, in terms of skill level, you can be a complete beginner and do this trick. Absolute beginner. And this trick will will knock the socks off. Okay, I'm just going to backstep a tiny bit there. Is that you might want to be able to do a couple of 
false cuts, you might be able to do a couple of false shuffles, basic ones, very basic, that might be the only sort of level. Uh, but apart from that, everything else works itself. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So there we go, Zodiac Prediction by Big Blind Media and Liam Montier. We give this a very, very high, ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. So there we go, nine out of 10 for Zodiac Prediction. Get yourself one right now at 15 pounds 99. It's a bargain, boom. God, I sounded like a like a window salesman then. Get yourself one. It's buy one, you get one. No, it's not buy one, you get one free. I'm sorry, but you buy one at $15.99, which is a bargain, and it gets in the post straight away. So there we go. Zodiac prediction, highly recommended. And I'm just gonna give you a quick update on the on the new shop. And the new shop is is very, very close now. We've signed the contracts. We're now just waiting to get the keys. And it's probably going to be at the end of this week, if not Monday or Tuesday next week. I'm hoping this week. So when I do, I will take a few little photos of the shop. We might have to miss a, a full-on review show next week, or we might just do a little competition just because of the transition sort of time over the next week, week or week and a half to two weeks. But I'll do my best to keep things going as best as I can. And also, we're going to set up an awesome studio in the Magic World shop, so and a little stage as well. It's going to be so cool. So I can't wait to see you guys there. We are going to have a massive opening day going into an evening party. So I welcome you all from all over the world. Come on down, jump on a plane, get down to Manchester and check out the Magic World Shop when it opens. I will let you know when. So thank you for watching this week's show. I'm James Anthony. Have an awesome week. Double check, recording, yes. We're recording! Woohoo! Ah, let's do this super quick. Boom! Was I a little harsh with this? Let me know in the comments. If, if you think I was a little harsh, just, just say, I hate being harsh with products. But just my opinion, just my opinion, that's it. Boom.